two of the things that dishearten a hopeful gardener are weeds and sometimes it takes a little bit for those plants to take off. Well, here is a solution to those two problems. You may have seen row crops in fields, farmers planting in plastic. Well, there's a reason why they do that. This material can keep moisture in, can keep weeds from growing, and can keep the soil warm. This is the product that I'm going to be using. It is a plastic material. It has white on one side and black on the other. It comes in a spool here, and this roll was given to me by a friend who has a farm. The good thing about using this on the farm is they have a piece of equipment that you pull behind a tractor and will actually tuck in behind the rows under this dirt as you go along. If you're watching this, you don't have a tractor to do this with. You're gonna have to do it with your bare hands like I did. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that I did this. It's a hard way of doing it. You're going to get dirty, but in the end, I think you'll see some results. And first, the most labor intensive part of it, we're going to hoe some rows. What you don't see are the stakes that I had set up on the end of each row. So I had something to aim at to try to keep my rows as straight as possible. These rows are about 27 feet long and they're four feet off center. That gives us about three feet in between to walk as our plants get big. Whew. Let's get the hard part out of the way. Now it's time to lay this covering down and then we'll show you how to plant through it. Again, since you don't have a tractor, there are a couple of ways to do this that I have found. On the right, this side, I have put dirt over the edges of the plastic after staking part of it down. And the point here is to try to keep the wind from blowing it around. On this side, I have tucked the wrapping into my rows. The loose soil of rows is good for holding down the wrapping. Again, the point here is you just want to make sure that these don't blow around if you get a nice windy day. The most important part of this is to make sure that if you have this kind of plastic wrap, with white on one side and black on the other, that the black is the side that's down. Otherwise, it just will get too hot and it'll bake everything that's under it. What I like to do is I like to take this four by four post and then hold down my plastic sheet as I begin to roll it out, rolling it out so it's centered on your row like this. I'm gonna bury the edges of this. So I wanna roll this sheet all the way out. And you'll see on the other way that I don't roll it all the way out as I work on it. Now that I have it all rolled out, it's time to start to bury the edges of this plastic. You can do a couple of things. You can either leave your four x four post there or you can stake it down with landscape stakes. Some people buy them at the store. I prefer just to go ahead and use old coat hangers, metal coat hangers that have been cut. I'll roll this back. I'm gonna stake the edges of it down before I start burying. As I stake this down, I, one of the key things is that you want this plastic to be pretty tight to the soil so that if, when you cut holes in it to plant, the air doesn't get up under it and give it a place to, to grow and, and, uh, and flap around because once it comes up, you're never gonna get back down the same way you wanted it. And it's gonna defeat the purpose. This side is staked down. That side is being held down by the roll. I'm gonna just kind of put my feet around the sides of this row so that I roughly know where I'm gonna start bearing. And I wanna get just a little bit of loose soil from here. And I'm just gonna to start to put it around the edges. Just a couple of inches and start piling it over the top. Now this is time consuming, going around the edge and putting just a couple of inches of soil around the edge of the baggie. The next technique I'm gonna show you is a little quicker, but it's a lot more dirty. So now we're going to do the method that's going to get you more dirty, but I think should be more quick. And I call it the tuck method. Again, I'm going to use this four by four post on top of the plastic sheeting to hold it down right here in the middle. And then I'm going to start to roll out the sheeting. And unlike the last time, I'm only going to go so far at a time because I'm going to then go ahead and tuck this in as I go. Watch. Tuck it up underneath 
So you're getting it up underneath the soil, nice and tight. I'm gonna get this up under there. Tuck it up under here every few inches. If I can tuck the edges up under that soil and then compact it down, it'll hold it on its own. Then you don't have to go back with a shovel to try to put dirt on top. So if you do this every couple of feet and then roll a sheeting as you go, I find this to be much quicker. And then you don't have to go back over it with a shovel and try to get everything tucked in there. And it should stay nice and tight for you. told you you'd get a little bit dirty, but everything is wrapped up and we've gone ahead and we've measured a distance and marked them on these white pieces of plastic where we're going to put our plants. Putting the plants in is really not that difficult. This is our mark where we're going to put our tomato plants. We're going to put tomato plants all through this row and we've marked them three feet apart. We've been growing some small tomato plants from seed, very small, but it's time to get them out and we're going to give them a chance to get in. So I've cut just a small hole here in the plastic. You really don't want to cut much bigger hole than this because a bigger hole will allow birds to come in and if birds put their droppings in a hole near your plant, that will allow weeds to come through as well. I've got a little hole there. I'm just going to loosen up the soil underneath and then I'm going to grab one of our seedlings, a beefsteak tomato. Gently work our seedling into the hole that I have here and down the Get it going there. And that's it. That's a very small seedling that we've put in here and you can plant seeds in. We're also gonna put bigger, more established plants in some of these rows before we're finished. The rain's gonna come here this afternoon. We hope that will help us, but we'll also water ourselves. When you're done with all these rows, you may wanna consider putting soaker hoses along the rows themselves on the apex of the hills, or you could just irrigate them as you normally would. So what are you waiting for? Go get growing.